In the field of e-commerce, women are taking the lead. Since the COVID-19 epidemic damaged many enterprises and thousands of lives, people were compelled to explore alternate revenue streams. In these dangerous times, F-commerce, Facebook-based company, appeared plausible. It gave people, especially women, a chance to establish or expand their enterprises. According to Meta, women now control 70% of Facebook-based companies and over 65% of Instagram enterprises since the epidemic started. On International Women's Day 2022, Meta released a press release praising Bangladeshi women joining together online to inspire others and promote good change. Triven's creator Nahiya Ibnad Beg launched her company on Facebook and Instagram. Since the epidemic, we've utilized Facebook and Instagram to promote our designs and services. There were doubts, but we kept expanding thanks to our exceptional service said. Six Yards Story creator Zerin Tazneem Khan discussed how she had to diversify her company during the epidemic. To help with the epidemic, we brought medications and other necessities. We are doing well since the epidemic stated. Some companies went totally online to survive the outbreak. During the epidemic, our Facebook group kept us going. Our platform ensured excellent local items for buyers, including NRB's Godeshi, made in Bangladesh creator Sabera Anwar. Meta, previously Facebook, said that since 2021, women have started 40% of Facebook groups concerning business in Bangladesh. Building and growing these enterprises was not simple, especially during the epidemic. Women businesses on Facebook had increasing challenges dealing with the supply chain, including delivery and getting raw materials, according to Halima Haq, an associate lecturer at Jahangirnagar University. Research also shows how women in e-commerce have to deal with scrutiny, internal and external pressure, cyberbullying, etc. Many f-commerce businesses agreed. This expansion was not simple, said Isrit Jiha Anika, owner of Zilbaba Tire, a Facebook-based Islamic clothing merchant. We had to deal with carriers and suppliers. They sought to increase prices since they believed we had no choice stated. But not to a male relative of mine. When confronted, they dropped the price Anika. A increasing number of women-owned enterprises face obstacles in Bangladesh, according to industry experts. It's true that women are performing well in f-commerce, said Mohammad Sahibuddin, Vice President, E-Commerce Association of Bangladesh, ICAB, ICAB. Women have turned to internet enterprises throughout the epidemic, he added. Women entrepreneurs make up 27% of the ICAB community, demonstrating their economic contribution, he noted.